Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video today, we're gonna do NFL week five predictions. For more predictions, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna jump right into this. So we're gonna start off with the Jacksonville Jaguars at Chicago uh, Buffalo Bills. Looking at it, Jacksonville has two straight games in London. That's pretty interesting just staying in London, huh? Um, I'm picking Buffalo. Buffalo's been playing amazing football. Jacksonville won last week in London, but they haven't really been showing me that dominance. They haven't been showing me that, you know, that hot, how hot they were at the end of the year. I haven't felt that in the beginning of the year. Buffalo's on fire. Buffalo should take this one. Saints versus Patriots. If this was five years ago, this game would be a baller. But, you know, it's Derek Carr at Mac Jones, so it's not a baller. Um, this could be really interesting. I'm going to pick the Patriots to win this. I think Derek Carr's shoulder still hurts. And I just, you know, even though Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi and all them boys are, you know, they're having a little bit of a train wreck. I think the Patriots end up finding a way to win this game. Titans at Colts with Jonathan Taylor. Um, the Colts honestly are a sleeper team. Jonathan Taylor being added to the lineup is huge. Um, I definitely, Tennessee's up and down. You don't know if they're going to be good or bad. I think the Colts are going to take this one. Anthony Richardson and Jonathan Taylor sounds like a running nightmare. So we're picking Indianapolis in this one. Watch out for Indianapolis. They actually are a pretty good team. Ravens at Steelers. Not quite the rivalry it used to be, but still interesting enough. If Matt Canada and Pittsburgh struggles again, they're going to be killing it. Uh, they'll be pissed at Matt Canada, fire Matt Canada, et cetera, et cetera. I pick, um, I think the safe pick is Baltimore, but like I'm going to pick Pittsburgh. I don't know. There's a part of me. Right now, I feel like Pittsburgh's going to come back and win a really close defensive game. I don't know why, but I feel Pittsburgh in this one. I'm picking Pittsburgh to win this in the upset. Carolina Panthers at Detroit Lions. Um, Bryce Young has struggled, and I don't know if that will help because he's facing a really good Detroit Lions team. So, you know, I don't think there's a lot to talk about here. Maybe it's an upset, but I think I'm going to pick Detroit in this. I think it's a safe bet to pick the Detroit Lions in this game. The Houston Texans at Atlanta Falcons. C.J. Stroud has been balling. Um, and he's seen as the best rookie so far. Um, I am a Texan fan, so it's always like, should I pick the Texans to win this? I'm going to pick Atlanta in this game. I don't know. I just feel like I have to see it. I really, really, really got to, you know, get me over there. You know, I've been abused by Bill O'Brien and the Texans stupidity for so long that I really need like, I really need them to tell me and show me that they're not the same Texans. I'm picking Atlanta in a close one. Giants at Dolphins. The New York Giants need to get Caleb Williams. Why stop here? You're facing Miami. Miami just lost to Buffalo. They should be pissed. Miami by a thousand in this game. Cincinnati Bengals at Arizona Cardinals. The Bengals have struggled mightily. And Arizona, Joshua Dobbs has played pretty good football. But at the same time, I'm just like, you know, we know what you really need. You need to get some Caleb Williams or some Drake May. There's no point in winning these games, bro. Cincinnati, you have something you actually need. You need to actually win these games. So I'm picking Cincinnati to beat and uh, beat Arizona. It's not going to be a blowout, but I think Cincinnati wins a close one. Philadelphia Eagles at Los Angeles Rams. The Rams are a really good team. Like, kind of, they're one of those teams that they're 2 or 2, but they're actually pretty good. Um, the Eagles haven't shown me a lot. Um, they've won these games, but they haven't dominated. And, you know, honestly, I think they can't do that anymore. I think without Shane Steichen, things is tough. So. I'm picking the Los Angeles Rams to win this game, man. I'm picking the Eagles to finally take that L. Battle of ineptitude. The Jets at Broncos. Um, Denver, you know, the Jets played some really good football last week, but they were at home. I think at Denver, Denver's defense isn't good like it should be, but I think I'm going to just make it. Um, I think Denver just wins this. I'm not even going to elaborate so much. I just think Russell Wilson and them boys, I mean, their plot's terrible, but I think they win it. I think they win this one. I don't know. It's just, it's, they're really inept teams, but I just think they win. Kansas City at Minnesota. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something crazy, man. I'm gonna have an upset today. We're gonna pick Minnesota in this. Pick the Vikings, man. I don't know. It's at Minnesota. Kansas City didn't play very um they didn't play good football, I feel like, last week. And I don't know. I mean they're one Minnesota's one and three. I think Minnesota's due for some explosion. Kirk Cousins, it's on a 325 game, so it's not prime time. I think Kirk Cousins can definitely go and air it out and compete in this game. And I think them boys can win. So I'm picking the Minnesota Vikings to win in an upset. Cowboys at 49ers, the epic matchup. Um, Dallas, this is their trying to get revenge because San Francisco has owned them for years. Um, San Francisco's clicking on all cylinders. Dallas clicked. They had a really good win last week. This is a game that's going to de determine if they're for real or not. Um, I'm honestly going to pick the San Francisco 49ers. I don't know. Um, there's probably one thing Dallas, but I think San Francisco is just such a deep team. 
I don't know. I'm picking San Francisco in a really close game. I'm picking the. I think Dallas go compete, but I think San Francisco gonna take this one. Should be a good game. And finally, the Green Bay Packers at Las Vegas Raiders. They be putting games. They didn't put the Texans no. They gave Texans no Monday Night Football, Thursday Night Football games. But they be giving some like mid matchups. Monday Night Football be some mid teams, bro. Um, I'm picking the Green Bay Packers. The Raiders need a tank. Jimmy Garoppolo, Aiden Connell, whoever's the quarterback. They not that guy. Josh McDaniels an awful coach. It's Green Bay all day, bro. Green Bay all day. So those are my predictions. Um, comment down below on your predictions for the week. Thank you guys for watching. It's the road to 1,000 subscribers. Say, so, hey, I'll catch you guys on the next prediction video. And I'm out of here.